Am I recording? Yes, I am. Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode, which will be a little bit different than you're used to, I'm going to explain you guys what happened a few weeks ago. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's something uh, you don't wish to happen to you. So, I'm going to show you guys what it was. Uh, my wife and I were in this room, which is on the first floor of our house. And uh, we heard a loud explosion from the uh, floor downstairs of us. And after this loud explosion, all the power was gone. The computers were falling out, my printer uh, stopped working. And uh, even one computer, uh, yeah, it, it failed. It, it never uh, recovered from this power down uh, again. And uh, when this happened, uh, well, we had to take a look what was wrong. Well, we went to our downstairs floor and uh, we had to light some candles to have some sight here. And uh, yeah, we couldn't find anything uh, immediately, but we, we did know it had to be something with power inlet. Uh, so we had to take a look what it was. And then we found out that, well, there was water leaking from our bathroom into the, uh, the, 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 the small room, the, the small cabinet in which our power inlet for the house is. So we had to find out where that water was coming from because we couldn't see a clear yeah, leak uh, from the walls or the ceiling or we couldn't find it that easy. Uh, but we were very lucky not to have fire in our house because, well, there was a lot of water. It wasn't just a little bit, it was really a lot of water that was going down through the, the meters uh, where, the, the, well, where the power is coming inside our house. So, um, we had to, to see where the water was coming from and we had to remove some tiles in our bathroom and this is what we found underneath those tiles. Uh, the previous owners who built the bathroom, um, they had used normal wires and they uh, didn't use any caps here on, on top of those boxes. Uh, they had used normal wires to connect everything inside the bathroom. Uh, and also there were uh, those pipes that were in those yeah, those boxes here, uh, those pipes are going directly to our power inlet cabinet. Uh, so water that was leaking here behind the tiles was also leaking inside our power inlet cabinet. So we really had a problem there. And while this happened, uh, we, we, we saw this and uh, well, we had to do something about it. And uh, at first we called the company that gives us electricity and they said, well, we're not going to give you electricity unless you find uh, where the leak is coming from and how to repair it. So we had to, to, yeah, to, to uh, make the bathroom open. Uh, we had to remove some tiles and, and a part of the walls to see where the leak was coming from. And when we did that, we discovered something which was even more uh, of a problem and that was that our complete bathroom under those tiles was rotten uh, so well we had to remove everything uh, as you can see here for example you can see that underneath those tiles there was a whole lot of rust going on uh, and also well everything was rotten and we had to take it down so yeah we were not able to see this when all the tiles were on there and it was very nice bathroom uh, but now we saw this, well, we knew we had to take down the whole bathroom. Problem of it is that the bathroom is over there. So uh, when you go out this room, you're almost instantly into the bathroom. And uh, the problem with that is that when we had to, to break everything down in the bathroom and we had to, to get rid of all those tiles and uh, this concrete floor and that kind of things, uh, well... <laughs> There was dust coming everywhere. There was dust coming inside my printers, dust coming inside my computers, my monitors. Everything was dusty here. So, uh, well, we knew we had to stop recording here. We, we knew we had to stop working here uh, because we couldn't work here anymore. So, uh, luckily I had some pre-recorded videos and the last few weeks you have been watching 
pre-recorded videos. So uh, I could give you a video every week while actually I was only rebuilding my bathroom. And uh, this is what happened. Uh, I'm out of videos now. So now I'm creating this new video. And uh, well, this is how far I am at this moment. So before that this problem with the bathroom happened, I was busy with another project. And that other project, well, that was my Hypercube printer over here. So I have my trusty Da Vinci over there. And now I also have a second printer, which is my Hypercube over here. And uh, this printer is now completely connected and working. But I can't show you how it prints at this moment, because everything is dusty here. Uh, I, I'm, well, I'm not able to, to connect this printer at this moment. So I'm very pleased with this printer and I can urge everyone to make a Hypercube. It's a, it's a design by Tech2C, although uh, I've changed a few things on the design. I've made this camera uh, connector on top of it, so I can now mount a camera uh, and, and place it anywhere I like, in every height I like. Uh, so I can record time-lapse videos of this printer working. Uh, also I made another end stop uh, which is created by Chris and he's imstring on, uh, on, on Thingiverse. And I urge you to also make this end stop because with the original end stop created by Tech2C it's possible that uh, the end stop is connected on this rod and it's possible that it's twisted a little bit so that it doesn't hit the switch when this uh, Y carriage is coming to the back side or to the front side. And when it misses the switch, uh, it, will, yeah, it will pull this carriage all the way until it stops, but it, it won't stop. So it's really a problem and uh, you have to do something about it. And with this new type uh, of, of end stop, it's very easy to solve. You can solve it in five minutes if you print this thing, uh, which is created by Imstring on Thingiverse and uh, it links in the description down below. I really really love this Hypercube printer. It prints flawlessly and it's a great design. It, it's really it's, it's, it's everything I want if I go on trade shows and that kind of things. But I'm going to show you what I make a little bit different from the other Hypercubes you have seen on YouTube or on Thingiverse or whatever. So here is the Hypercube and I'm going to show you guys how it looks from the bottom all the way to the top of the finished printer but then the extrusions don't stop they continue and the reason why they do well it's pretty obvious I'm going to make a second printer inside the same frame so I'm willing to make uh, a second printer inside this frame so I have two printers and a lot of people are asking me well aren't you afraid of vibrations and aren't you afraid of, of uh, one printer uh, well disturbing the, the work of the other printer or maybe you know, both printers disturbing each other and no I'm not afraid of that uh, this frame is enormous sturdy so I'm not afraid of that uh, it won't happen and the fun thing for me is that I have one cabinet that I can take with me and with this one cabinet uh, I have two printers with me and I'm also going to build uh, octo print in it uh, on Raspberry Pis for the boat printers so I can send the print job uh, via Wi-Fi to those machines and uh, with, with that print job I can make them work and I think that is it's the way to go so uh, for trade shows for uh, conferences for well whatever kind of thing I'm doing uh, with 3d printing this is a great way to go so this is what I'm up to with this printer I'm also going to make some changes to the Da Vinci machine here behind me uh, I'm going to convert it to an E3D V6 hot end and uh, well a lot of nice prints are going out uh, that printer as well in the in the near future because I have a lot of work for it so you will be seeing a lot of me on this channel in the future uh, but first I have to yeah, I have to create a new bathroom again and I will keep you guys posted on how that goes as well. So, uh, well, 
subscribe to this channel, like this video if you like it. Uh, maybe if you have tips for me on how to make the best bathroom in the world, well, share them with me because I can really use some help at this moment. <laughs> and uh, well, I hope to see you guys next week because next week there will of course be a new video for the 3D Print Creator channel here. And uh, well, I hope to see you guys then. And also, you can support this channel. Well, you can find the links in the description down below if you want to do so. So, thanks a lot and see you next week. Bye bye!